money. We make money off of it. We make, I think, probably one light coin a day, so we make $17 a day. So. We have computers running downstairs right now that are running the mining software, generating light coins and verifying transactions, and all we are required to do is make sure they run. This is really mining. We're in the basement. So this is the setup, as, as it stands now. These graphics cards are all extremely intensive, and the only thing these computers run are the mining software. Apparently we're trying to set up this computer right now, but we had some trouble with the processor and getting it to run. Okay. So, since Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency, it doesn't have necessarily a central power or a central um, governing so where do you control the machine or anything to run the network? It's all run by the users of Bitcoin. And for any secure digital transaction, you need to verify the transaction and you need to make sure it went through and it wasn't fraudulent. So what miners do is we basically run a program that solves mathematical formulas that verifies the transactions for the users. And because there are so many miners, probably in the millions for each currency, uh, Litecoin and Bitcoin are the two variations. They verify the transactions and essentially power the network and in return for that they get paid in Litecoins or Bitcoins. So that's what we do. By verifying transactions we're essentially paid back in Litecoins and Bitcoins. We have over 10 Litecoins. Litecoin is an alternative cryptocurrency to Bitcoin which is designed to be four times less valuable as Bitcoin, so it's the silver to gold. And, and how does that convert to dollars if you wanted to? Could you? Yeah, I can actually... Let me see what the current conversion rate is. Right now, one Litecoin is worth $16, and a Bitcoin... is currently at, oh, $700. It used to be at around 1300 but it uh, crashed the other day when China made, China actually banned Bitcoin usage in the banks, which in turn made Bitcoin and Litecoin's value crash. There's an interesting video that explains Bitcoin mining um, better than I can. What is Bitcoin mining? Bitcoin operates as a peer-to-peer -peer network. This means that everyone who uses Bitcoin is a tiny fraction of the bank of Bitcoin. With paper money, a government decides when to print and distribute money. Bitcoin doesn't have a central government. With Bitcoin, miners use special software to solve math problems and are issued a certain number of Bitcoins in exchange. Or do you see yourself in the future uh, with Bitcoin and mining? Well, it all depends on money and hardware, and hardware for Bitcoin mining right now is extremely expensive. Um, the video showed that right now people are using special chips called ASICs, and they're upwards for a good hash rate of $20,000 per chip. So Bitcoin mining has become really unfeasible for the average person. So we're transitioning to Litecoin mining, which you can do with regular computer graphics cards. So. We're going to be mining Litecoins, and if, if the equipment pays for itself, we'll just use the money that we get from mining Litecoins to get more equipment. ...integrated circuit chips are designed specifically for Bitcoin mining. ASIC technology has made Bitcoin mining even faster while using less power. As the popularity of Bitcoin increases, more miners join the network, making it more difficult for individuals to solve the math problems. What do you know about the criticism of... Bitcoin um, as a way for people to launder well, money or things like that? Since Bitcoin does not have a central government, it does not have any regulation, and because it is peer-to-peer, -peer, it's completely anonymous. So I believe that the government has criticized it, our government, um, for being anonymous because there have been many illegal transactions. There was a drug company that operated off of Bitcoin called Silk Road that was shut down. What is the intellectual or computing challenge in it for you? I think it's really fun to run the hardware, really fun to get the software up because it doesn't just work out of the box. It requires a lot of optimization, it requires a lot of configuration to get it perfect. And just that that's really it. And the fact that it does generate currency and you can convert that to dollars. 
So what are we seeing here? Uh, right now I'm trying to log into the miner. Whoops. So this is for our first miner downstairs. It shows, these are the statistics of what it's mining. It shows that it's accepting um, block shares. And it also shows the fan speed right there. It shows the hash rate, which is how fast it's mining. It shows the number of accepted shares, the rejected shares, yeah. hardware errors, and the intensity of the mining. Oh, it also shows the temperature of each core here. So it seems they're each running about 72 Celsius. There are definitely groups of people that make money off of this, make their living off of this. We have a friend who has a shed full of Bitcoin mining computers who's made over $100,000 with Bitcoin mining.